right, mic test, one, two. Hang on in one second here. We'll get the recording started, in theory. Um, there we go. And one more thing. Bingo. All right, cool. Now we can check the camera angles. I can sit right here on this big floofy thing. Hang on. I'm going to fold it in half because the filling is kind of moves around quite a bit there. Okay. Let's try that. Let's move this stuff where I can reach it just a little better without blocking the camera, hopefully. Okay. Good start. All right. Good start. Let's see. Where are we? Cool. Those are almost identical. Let's see if we can zoom in the one camera. That way it is worth something. Hang on here. Hi, buddy. Hi, my little Jan buddy. Jan is so much a lap kitty for me. Just He wants to just sit on me and snuggle and purr all of the time. Yeah. Hi. Hi, buddy. All right. I think that's good. Good morning, everybody. Wow, it's a busy week, a very, very busy week, and uh, I probably won't remember everything that I wanted to tell you. Um, let me check with Discord real quick and make sure I'm audible. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. It looks like I am audible. So, uh, the week. Let's see how much of it I can remember. Uh, maybe I should even check the calendar because it was all vet appointments, really. Um, <laughs> I planned really well for this. Okay, here we go. So this week, uh, first off, uh, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this on the last mailbag or not, I kind of threw my back out, and so I've been uh, just a little bit impaired this week, and it's, I think, almost resolved, but I'm also going to take it real easy this weekend uh, hanging out, so just so you know what's up. Then, let's see, uh, we had Cal Spay scheduled for Monday of this week, but we didn't get to do it. Um, the doc thought that we should hold off just a little bit. Um, and uh, we uh, doubled her, I think, to have, uh, whatever we did. We, we gave her some antibiotics, and we, we got her on these steroids for her uh, uh, pillow pads that she's got. And I think that was mostly the steroids. The doc wanted to make sure we got off of those before we did the spay. So uh, her pillow pad seems like it's doing much better. The doc said that it seemed like it was resolved. And uh, we've just got to taper her now off of the steroids and then see if it comes back. Uh, and then we can have her space. So I need to still schedule it. But that's what's going on with her. Um, then uh, I, I guess I could start with Ari, who had his eye get like, kind of goopy. Um, he's doing great now. His eye's almost better. Um, but since then, it has the, the same sort of cold um, upper respiratory eye infection thing that's going has spread to everybody here. Uh, even the faculty, I mean, not just Ari, but uh, Custard now has the sneezes and the stuffy nose and um, just just all, everybody's sick right now. And it's, it's a little disheartening, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but we'll work our way through it. You know, it's just, it's just sad to see your kids sick. I can only imagine how it is for, for parents of human children. It's gotta be even worse uh, when everybody is sneezy and sniffly and you just want them to feel better. Um, but in due time, I know they will get better and we're giving them all the meds that they need. Uh, we've got these kids are on antibiotics right now, even though this is surely a viral infection. Um, you can get secondary infections that the antibiotics help prevent or fix. So the, these kids have been on antibiotics for several days now. And uh, um, Teaspoon, well, let's see, uh, who else have we got here? Uh, Teaspoon went for his neuter on Tuesday and was neutered successfully. The uh, doc that we went to go see was very good, and uh, he, he told us afterwards it took nine minutes, the entire operation, start to finish, and that Teaspoon's, uh, well, boy parts that, that, you know, are part of the neuter is, uh, okay, don't, <laughs> that's too bitey, that's too much. Uh, had uh, had not moved at all. You know, when they start, I, I might have mentioned this last week, I don't remember, uh, when little boys are, are born, little boy kittens are born, their testicles are all the way up by their kidneys, like right around here somewhere, and then they have to travel all the way down to where you expect to find them, 
And in Teaspoon's case, they hadn't moved at all. They were right still at the starting gate um, and uh, right up by his kidneys. So his surgery was a lot more like a spay than a neuter. They had to give him an incision here and go in that way and take them out. And then um, right now he's got staples in and he's wearing the surgical suit and he's uh, basically hiding out with DJ and I in the spa all day long mostly just because we don't want any of the other kittens to be trying to wrestle and bite on him. Um, uh, he seems like, for his part, he's, he's too happy enough, but we've also got him on uh, several different pain meds, and one of which is gabapentin, which makes kittens really groggy. Um, so he's, he's just real slow right now. <laughs> um, and he's also got this same cold that's going around, the sort of eye, sneezy, stuffy nose thing that, that all the other kittens have. Um, he had that before the surgery. Uh, we had noticed, DJ had noticed him sneezing like one or two days before the surgery. And rather than cancel, uh, which, you know, I guess we could have done, but we went, we thought we would let the, the surgeon make that decision on the day of, since it was too late to, to really cancel and have him rebook that time. I figured we might as well go in. Worst case, he says, you know, well, today's not a good day for it after all, like, like Dr. Katz did with, with, uh, with Cal, saying, you know, okay, examine the day of and decided, okay, maybe not the best time to do it after all. So um, he, though, decided it would be fine, and uh, like I said, he went right ahead with it. Um, but since then, teaspoons it really started to get into the full swing of this cold. Uh, so we're giving him steamings, and in his case, uh, we went just a little bit further. We've got him on an antiviral right now. And if everybody else uh, doesn't start to look better, I might consider getting an antiviral for everybody. Um, but it's a, it's a pill, and it's a lot of work to try to get all the cats to take it all the time. So if they don't need it, uh, I might hold off just for that reason, because um, I'd hate to kind of do it part way. Yeah, Greggy's got a very winky eye right now, which we're treating specially with some extra antibiotics. Um, like I said, it's going around. They're all they've all got little eye symptoms, and they've all got sneezies, and mostly all have stuffy noses. Um, it's kind of interesting because when Cal came in, she was very sneezy, and she's been very sneezy the entire time that we've known her, right from the start till now. She's still sneezy very frequently. Um, and her family got it, I think, right away, and they were all sneezy, um, but didn't show any you know, major issues with it after that. So my guess is that the thing that is really taken off that's going around didn't come from Cal like I had originally thought. My guess is it probably came in with our new mom, Skylight whose eyes have been winky uh, since day one with us, and uh, we're working on resolving that for her. Uh, our options with her are a little bit more limited because she is pregnant. Uh, we had her in this week for a follow-up x-ray. We had her in last week for the x-ray, and the x-ray didn't show anything really significant last week. This week, though, we brought her back for a follow-up, uh, mostly, you know, to check on her eye, but I also thought we'd do an additional x-ray um, and... Uh, this week's x-ray showed roughly four kittens that you can you can easily see their skeletons this week. So that also gives us a good timeline on when she's going to deliver because from the time that the skeletons first appear on an x-ray, it's two to three weeks until the delivery happens. So now we know um, in about two to three weeks from today, uh, you know, from this week is when she's going to have her kittens. So... Um, you know, it's not precise or anything, but, but it's, a, it's a very good indicator of uh, the, the basic timeline there. Uh, I think that is all the big news for this week. Um, everything that is important there. Uh, yeah, I think I covered it all, at least as far as I can remember. So we might as well start opening some stuff here. Now, there are, we got one letter this week, but it came directly to the house. <laughs> it's got these cute little cat stickers on it. But normally when something comes straight to the um, house, I don't think that it's for mailbag. But this one is addressed to uh, Headmaster and Professor Teaspoon. Attention to Professor Teaspoon. So I thought maybe we can read it on mailbag. But I am going to skim ahead a little bit before I start reading it, just to make sure that it was intended to be okay to read on mailbag and not something that came to the house because it was supposed to be private. Uh, it looks like it's a pop-up card, so we've got that. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, hmm. okay. Uh, this is two sloths snuggling on a banana leaf, it looks like, or something. 
And inside it pops, oh, this is a get well soon post-surgery for Teaspoon. It's very cute. Love to Teaspoon. Get well fast. Thinking of you. Best luck to heal quick. Thoughts and prayers for Professor Teaspoon. It says, I love you so much with the uh, the sloths there. And, uh, oh, 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 there's also a donation here. I did not expect. Okay, we'll put that right there uh, for his uh, surgery fund, I assume. Okay, so there we go. Very cute. This is from Bob and Ruth. It says, hello, Professor Teaspoon. We heard through official sources that you'll be spending a few days for a long-awaited medical procedure with the fine vets in Connecticut. We know you are in the best hands, and the small gift is to help with those extra expenses that occur. Also, we hope you have a speedy recovery. We love you and look forward to seeing you in June for KA Con. Love, Bob and Ruth. Well, we look forward to seeing you and uh, and everybody at KACON this year. I've been thinking about it a lot because it's coming up, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very exciting. So it's exciting. It's fun every year. Uh, Bob and Ruth, thank you so much for the little donation and for the well wishes for Teaspoon. I really appreciate it. I know he really appreciates it. I'll bring this card up to, to share with him and DJ after mailbag. Uh, that's really, really sweet. Uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say in response to that, but now it is completely gone from my mind. So I guess we'll just keep going. Um, uh, no, okay, I guess that's it. Um, yeah. Oh, I was going to say about uh, something about his surgeon and how good he was, but I forget what it was that I was going to share exactly. And I know I already said how good he was. Uh, you know, the fact that he did the whole thing in nine minutes. And that was that was part of the challenge. The reason that we went to him instead of, say, having Dr. Katz do it, she, she wouldn't, um, was that uh, he, because of his heart condition, um, he has to, he had to spend as little time as possible under anesthesia. And uh, even that had to be carefully monitored, um, you know, above and beyond what I think uh, would normally be done. And uh, I'm happy to say, not only did we schedule him with the, the really good surgeon um, at the VCA in Norwalk, but that's also where he has been going to meet with his cardiologist, and we scheduled it for a day when his cardiologist would be there. And in fact, the uh, surgeon told us that he consulted with the cardiologist, I think, before he did the surgery um, on the day of, which is just real convenient and you know one of the reasons that we chose that place to do it. Um, oh, I think what I was just going to mention is that his his incision and the the staples and everything it's so clean and perfect. Like it's it's one of the most perfect I've ever seen. He, the guy is just really good. It's uh, it was Dr. Paul Mazzano. That's one word. Uh, that's not Paul Mazzano, which I thought initially his name is Matt, um, but it's Do- Matt Paul Mazzano, and uh, at the VCA in Norwalk, and he is really good. He doesn't normally do spays or neuters. I think they're a little bit beneath him, <laughs> but but because this was a real special case, uh, you know, it was right up his alley. Something special for him to take on there. So uh, yeah, it was just an excellent job uh, all around. So uh, no complaints there from us or from Teaspoon. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, this also came straight to the house, but this one says directly on it, uh, Kitten Academy mailbag. So, ooh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I see something tiger stripey, very tiger stripey. I don't know exactly what it is. It says, just a little something to help Teaspoon feel better about having to wear a suit. Can't wait to see the twinsies on stream. I know where this is going. Uh, Love and Lobsters, Maya Bastet. Uh, This must be for me then, I'm guessing. That's adorable, by the way. I I sound disappointed because I'm supposed to, I think, but I actually think this is extremely cute. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, that's exactly what it is, a, a tiger onesie. It's even got a little tiger head on top and a tail, I notice. So yes, we will be twinsies. That is hilarious. DJ kept telling me this morning, she's like, well, for some reason, we're supposed to keep Teaspoon in his suit until after mailbag. Um, And uh, I said, well, why? He's not even going to be here for mailbag. He's going to be upstairs in the bedroom. She said, I don't know. That's just all I heard. I don't know if she actually knew what was going on and didn't want to tell me, so I would be surprised. Uh, I am surprised. I, I, I don't know if it's appropriate to just put this on over my clothes. I guess I could. It probably will fit. That way I don't have to try to get naked and I can put it on right now for you guys. Let's try that out and then uh, maybe later I can decide if it works better. It's just a onesie. But that way you can see it because this is silly and it's fun. 
I think it's great. I'm, I'll find excuses to wear this if DJ doesn't decide to make it into regular pajamas for herself. Uh, let's see. The entrance is a little small, but I think I can make it work nonetheless. Uh, let's find out here. The entrance, the opening? I don't know. What do you call it? It doesn't go all the way down like you might expect. Okay. Here we go. This is very cute for me and for Teaspoon. I've been, um, because of Teaspoon, you know, I, I want to make sure that he stays super clean and that those, the perfect incision he's got doesn't get mixed up or, or dirty or anything. Uh, I've been changing his suit every day, and we only have the one tiger suit that fits him. Um, but uh, he is on the tiger suit right now until I finish the laundry. Uh, and then he'll be on the, uh, the stealth suit for, a, you know, the rest of the day, and then the tiger suit and stealth suit. So he'll be going back and forth. I think we've also got the two, um, there's two flowery uh, prints that you've seen before, like our mom cat's wearing. There's that one picture of, uh, I forget which mom cat it is, but someone's photoshopped in uh, like a slippers and a hairnet because it looks so uh, like old timey. And uh, that um, suit would also fit him. It's the right size. Hang on, I got to take the mic and move it. One second. Janice, I hear you. Okay. Uh, Julie, I mean. <laughs> the hood is too much. Okay, uh, let's see. Maybe I can show you guys on the ceiling camera. You have a better view of me. Is it on? The admins can turn it on. If, if it's not already, I'll do it. It is. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, show them you're a tiger. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Rawr. Okay. Uh, I love it. I love this. This is, I just, I don't know how to even express properly how silly this must be. I can see myself a little bit on this tiny camera view. Um, that is too much. I hope DJ's watching, but if not, she's going to have a big surprise when I come back to the bedroom and teaspoon. Can you see my, my head with the tiger on it? It's also very silly. Okay. Hang on. I got to adjust a little bit to try to, there we go. All right. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I love it. Teaspoon's going to be like, oh, I should mention about Teaspoon's suit, actually. Um, some of the kittens have come up to visit, and some of them have been, uh, hang on, this mic has got to, I got to figure out where to put this mic. I'm going to put it back on my shirt, so I have to unbutton this. Uh, hang on. I'm going to put it back on my shirt. I have to unbutton this just a little to do that. We'll just keep it there for now. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, we'll get the full effect later. Um, what was I saying? I was saying, oh, uh, uh, the kittens have, have mostly all been in to visit us and a Teaspoon in the bedroom at some point, each of them have, and some of them have been extremely freaked out by his tiger suit. Like, they're like, oh my gosh, there's a tiger in here, uh, which is ridiculous, of course, but so, yeah, some of them have been very suspicious of that suit in particular, even more, I think, than they've been with the stealth suit. Uh, I'm trying to think who had the strongest reaction to it, um, but I, I just, I'm not sure right now. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been fun, though. So I, I'm, I guess they all got to watch me put this on, so they're not going to freak out right away. Besides, I wear I don't look like a cat. I wear weird stuff all the time. They're ready for that. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Maya, by the way, thank you very, very much. Sincerely, thank you um, for, uh, for this. I think it's hilarious. Okay, this is from Charlie. Here we go. What does it say? A very, very short note. Okay. Also a very, very tiny thing. It says, aw, it says tea clone. This is for that the teaspoon uh, stuffed animal that we got that is a clone of teaspoon. That's so sweet. And the note says, hi, Mr. A, enclosed is for you-know-who from you-know-who. <laughs> All right, well, that is a very, very short note. Uh, thank you so much. I love these little name rings that you uh, have got. And you know what I think is interesting about, uh, not interesting, but a, a note that I should mention now that I'm thinking of the name rings. Um, you know, we've still got Mr. Whiskers, and I've hung it from our brand new dishwasher. It was on the old one, and now it's on the new one. Um, it hung on the old one just fine for a long time. No, no disturbances. Uh, I was surprised, too, because I put it all the way down at mouse level, because the, under the dishwasher is one of the places where the mice tend to turn up. Um, and, uh, lately I've noticed these kittens have discovered it and have been knocking it off and carrying it around. So I keep finding it in various places and having to put it back for Mr. Whiskers. But it's cute that it's finally become a toy for somebody, I think. I find that uh, to be fun. So, um, this is a very cool suit. <laughs> 
Uh, it's super orange. It's a, I think it's a darker orange than teaspoons. Is I look more like Tony the Tiger uh, than uh, than a tiger tiger. Uh, his, his doesn't look entirely real either, but uh, at least he'll be able to tell us apart. And when he's sitting on my lap, he won't just blend in stealthy. Uh, all right. This, uh, thank you very much, Charlie, uh, for sending that name ring for uh, the tea, uh, teaspoon clone. Uh, tea clone is, uh, is great. So, okay, this is, it says, from Lena. So I think we have some idea what we're going to find in here. And in fact, we do have little named fuzzy catnip mice for each of the kittens. This one is for Greg. Uh, whose butt is in the way here. I guess we'll show it to this camera instead. And for Friday, uh, I like how you've... Uh, uh, Julian, we've got some orange ones for the orange boys. Monday gets a yellow one. Holiday has this red. And then we've got purples for Callie and for January. I think their embroidered mice are adorable, and I think it's so sweet that you do that, send a little something with their names on it. I think I've said before, even if they end up getting renamed by their adopters, it's still fun to have something then that's a reminder of, of where they came from in their original name. Although I think most of our adopters do keep the names, um, not all. So there's a note here that says, enjoy Callie, Julian, Greg, January holiday, Monday, Friday. Catnip mice for lovely Callie and her adorable timey wimeys love and spoogles from Lena. Lena, thank you so much. I hope we see you again at KA Con. Um, these are wonderful, and uh, I know everybody's going to appreciate those very much, as always. Uh, for basically every class, you've sent these or dishes or sometimes even both. It is super generous of you. And speaking of things that come in for every class, I think by now we all recognize this box and what it must surely contain. Looks like it's been through a few things on its way here, um, but that's all right. We're going to try opening this in a whole different way. We're just going to cut it down the long end like that. Okay. Let's see how that works for us. Oh, much easier. Okay, and there's the note. And yes, it is full of noodle sticks in various colors. Okay. And a note, which we like. Uh, oh, oh. This is a gumball machine full of planets and a little spaceman coming out the bottom of the gumball machine holding one. That is really cute. Oh my goodness, really, really cute. Um, and it looks sort of like a block print. Um, Although it's got detailing that's been done uh, with, um, I don't know, marker, perhaps? Uh, watercolor, actually. Some of it's got some watercolor to it. Uh, most, several different styles put together here, but this is really cool. Wow. I love this motif. Uh, inside, it just says, thanks, you're out of this world. On the back, uh, let's see, uh, Lim Hing Sui appears to be the name of the... Um, artist, uh, at, and it's uh, Trader Joe's. All right. So thanks. You're out of this world. Sending noodle sticks for the timey wimeys and tons of love and respect to Mr. A and DJ for being the amazing people they are. See you at KA Con. That's great news from Janice C. Uh, I actually want to put this like someplace where I can look at it regularly. I really love that art. So cool. So let's see which colors you've picked for which kittens. And how much trouble these guys are going to cause with it. Well, if they're right here, yeah, you're going to get a head start. Huh? Okay, so we've got Calendar with this teal color. Monday with the neon green. Julian with this bright yellow. Gregorian gets black. Holiday gets this orange, construction orange. Uh, January with this navy blue. And that leaves Friday with this sort of uh, pinkish color, neon pinkish color. Um, kind of more of a fuchsia, maybe? Anyway, very cool. And you can see they already want to play with them. Big hits. The noodle sticks are always a big hit. We keep one, uh, a couple, actually, upstairs so that we can always play with kittens when they come by. So these guys have already had some exposure to them. Although the ones I have out are the, the shorter ones. Um, and I, I, I agree by now. I, by the way, I've changed my opinion on that, where I, I kind of think the longer ones are more fun for them. And maybe more fun for me sometimes, too. Although the short ones can be good for starters when they're little tiny kittens, if we get them started then. So, uh, so it's, you know, it's good to have both kinds. Well, now I messed up your box so much, though, I don't know if I can really hide these in there. 
I don't want these kids to be playing with them all mailbag. All right, let's hide them in there and just put it right here where maybe I can kind of keep an eye on it or literally keep a knee on it. Okay, uh, next up, Janice again, thank you so much for the noodle sticks, not just for these kids, but for everybody. That's a wonderful little handmade toy. Oh, this is addressed to Sprizzle, extension KA and Sprizzle from Bremel1. Um, Bremel1, all right, thank you. There might also be a note inside, let's find out. Okay, packing material, oh, very pretty beds here. All right. Uh, wow, there's a whole sheaf of notes. It says, enjoy your gift for KA use. Hope it's a good rainbow replacement. So that must be, okay, hang on. That must be this. It's a rainbow uh, marshmallow bed. I can see that. It's packed up very tight, though, so we don't have to open it. It will explode everywhere. And this Bree Mel 1 is Breezy Melody 1. I should have thought of that, but no, uh, I didn't because my brain doesn't work so good. Uh, this also says, enjoy gift for KA use. Hope is a good replacement from Breezy Melody 1. Enjoy gift Sprout from Breezy Melody 1. Uh, Drizzle from Breezy Melody 1. Okay, we're going to have to puzzle this out or uh, just here, I guess, on, uh, on chat, which is for which for sure. But I think uh, maybe we can puzzle it out. So we also have this um, marshmallow bed. So we've got two different kinds. We've got the salmon colored one and the rainbow colored one. Uh, both of which I think we sent with um, uh, Till, didn't we? Because uh, she was really into them. And then these are cute little fleecy fun braided cat toy with feathers on the end. And it looks like this is <laughs> this is the kind of thing they're going to like. Sprout does this thing where she, she likes to press on the sides of a, a flap of cardboard on these boxes. She does this every time she finds a box. She just comes over and bats on this. I think you can see it from an angle like this. And she was just doing it too. Uh, I moved it so maybe you could see it better, but then she moved on to the food bowl. It's so silly when she does. So these are going to be really good gifts for, for them when they go. We haven't quite set up the pickup date with their adopter yet, but, uh, you know, she's on Discord, and she, the reason that she hasn't set up the date yet is she's preparing a room for them, which, by the way, she shared photos of, and it's a wonderful room. It's really pretty. It looks, it looks like it's completely ready for them, but she says there's a couple of electrical issues that she wants to make sure the electrician gets the fix before they move in. So uh, I think that's wonderful. Thank you so much for these uh, replacement marshmallow beds. That's super kind of you. And you can never have too many marshmallow beds. Uh, we, uh, we definitely end up using quite a few of those. I need to write their names on these um, so that I know who's who. Stop trying to steal the noodle sticks uh, so that I know it's for them and not for the other kittens. Uh, if I have, there's a pen. Okay, good. Oh, all right, there we go. Our little donation box slash mailbag box. So uh, this is for Sprout and one for Drizzle. There we go. I think they'll love it. I think Drizzle, I could see Drizzle play and fetch with these. Um, that'll be a lot of fun too. So where do I put them to go downstairs? I guess right here is the only box I have for that right now. Uh, we only have one more box to do, too. It's another uh, brief mailbag, which is perfect for me, especially on a day like this, um, where uh, sitting on the floor is not necessarily my best option, but it's fine for a little while. So, let's see here. Oh, wow, we almost lost a letter opener, too. Okay, move that over here for a sec. Put this in here. We've got all these kittens in a box, which would be a lot cuter to see if I moved it in front of the other camera. Whoop. Okay, awkward, awkward lift there. Okay, all right, jump around. Okay, well, that's good enough for the moment. Now that there's no kittens in it, I'm sure they will return. All right, one more box here. This is a chewy box, but it's recycled, and it's got Easter stuff all over it. Little bunny rabbits and carrots. Uh, and eggs up here on top. Oh, they aren't all bunny rabbits. In fact, they're cats wearing rabbit ears. That's super cute. I think, uh, hopefully you can see it right there, maybe, possibly. This guy looks like an egg um, and uh, is a cat. And then these guys are rabbits and they've got little carrots and... Uh... All right, let's see. Wow, oh, nice. Uber strong knife guard courtesy of a defunct Christmas scratcher. <laughs> I know how that is. Uh, we've definitely used the boxes from the Christmas scratchers for other things ourselves. That's nice. 
Okay. Uh, I don't want to fill up their box right away, but they're over here playing with the packing material anyway. Uh, wow, you are on theme here. We've got carrot uh, tissue paper as well to go with that. The note, okay to read on stream, features a self-portrait of me so far in 2024 sent with love from the Carrot Palooza gang. I guess I could have guessed from the theme, a self-portrait of myself. This is a cat that looks uh, kind of strung out, I guess, is the only way I could describe it. Uh, reminds me of Bill the cat a little bit. He's got one eye that's big and there's a insect flying around and uh, he's got multiple patterns and his hair's all pointed out in various directions. I think you can see that. Inside we have a note that says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, As I write this, you are on your way to Teaspoo's doctor visit. Hope your trip is safe, easy, and very productive. And of course, praying for Teaspoo's successful surgery. It's carrot season. Some of the carrots are tied together for a reason. I need some of the upcoming graduates to help do some time traveling for me. I think you'll figure it out when you look at all of the name tags. Along with January's carrot is a late Valentine's wand. He's my latest crush since Astro. And well, he can't be mine. I'm so happy for his adooters. Love my tabbies forever. This has been an insane year for me so far, as my self-portrait on this card demonstrates. By the end of the first week, I had a raging case of poison ivy or sumac. Oh, boy. Courtesy of my new chainsaw my best friend gave me for Christmas. Wow. I can imagine that if, uh, if it was, like, in the chainsaw, it would spray everywhere, right? Like, it wouldn't just be in one spot, like, if you touched it in the wild. Uh, that's got to be tough. Wow. It was so brutal it didn't clear up until right before Mardi Gras weekend. Thank goodness it finally did because this year we've had to participate. Oh, how cool. My son, I'm sorry, my husband's BFF's son uh, was asked to be a knight in King Felix's court and he was escorting my good friend's beautiful daughter. So we had to go to their very fancy, and I mean over-the-top gorgeous functions. It was really special being with our friends and their kids celebrating Mardi Gras. So, I've included in your treats the chocolate moon pie that I caught at the King's Parade, as well as the beads we caught. I wiped them off uh, with alcohol, um, with, uh, I think that says, I uh, wiped them off with an alcohol prep. Okay, good. Well, that's good. Uh, I even caught a hula hoop over my head, wow, uh, with one hand while wearing a huge fancy hat. That takes some skill. I've also included a few moon pies that are popular flavors. I didn't even know they came in flavors. Plus a fancy chocolate coated one that is the new flavor this year, blueberry. Moon pies really aren't delicious, although making one for a few, uh, nuking one for a few seconds helps. But they are a big deal during Mardi Gras. I, until right now, did not know that moon pies and Mardi Gras uh, were, you know, connected in that way. Okay. Also included are some Easter treats, mainly because they're cute. Hope DJ likes the shortbreads, at least, uh, or at least their boxes. Thank you for creating such a wonderful community and for helping kittens uh, find such wonderful homes. Congratulations, Aduders! That is so sweet and wonderful. Thank you, uh, Carrot Palooza gang. And I would guess we've got some stuff to figure out in here. So, uh, wow. I don't know how to pronounce uh, uh, Cajun or French or uh, the combination there, Lanap, I guess, something like that, uh, paper, but this is cool. We've got the 2024 election right on the cover. Oh, this has got to stop. Uh, okay, yes, it does. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Lots of fun looking ads in here and lots of fun articles too. All right. Thank you for sending the local paper. I, you know I love uh, that. Okay, let's find out what you meant by the carrot comment and the carrots being tied together. These, these are tied together. And the name tags say, with much love from Carapalooza Gang for Nick, I see, and Julian. Oh, I see. Well, that's clever and uh, it's going to work out very well for them. So that's for Knickerbocker and Julian, who are going to be bros. Uh, this one is for holiday. I love your little tags with the felt cut out and uh, decorated carrot. It's not just cut out from felt, but it's also got uh, are these they're cuts that give it a little bit of extra texture. Plus, it's got some color on the sides and a separate piece that is the, the greenery on top. Very detailed little felty carrot um, name tags on these. I love them. 
That's some quality work. Now, this is three together, January. Oh, and we've got a Valentine's card that says, Be Mine. I see what you were doing there. And also one for Dakota and also uh, for Rascal. That works out really well. This is so sweet of you to send them for the former adopters, kittens. Um, I think that's really sweet. This is for Callie, of course, and one for Monday, and one for uh, Mac by Sprout and Drizzle. Okay, and Gregorian. I guess uh, Sprout and Drizzle must already have theirs distributed in their endowments. I don't remember now because it's been quite a while since I set out their endowments. Uh, but that works out just fine. And then one for Friday. Wow, that is a lot of carrots. I feel like the first time we did so many carrots, it happened on accident. Like you'd send a carrot for everybody, and then it was lost in shipping and duplicated, but then they showed up. And now it's just become a thing. Like, this is a lot of carrots. Uh, okay. Uh, speaking of a lot of carrots, we also have this adorable stuffed carrot pillow that says, For Immediate Deployment. All right. Well, that's perfect. It would make, actually, uh, a nice little pillow to sit on, too. It's very floofy. And he's got embroidered eyes. And whatever he's packed with is not just fiber fill. There's some uh, foaminess to it, but it's also not memory foam. Is it? No, it's not. It's too floofy for that. Uh, whatever it is, he's a very floofy little carrot, and he's got these cute little legs on him. Uh, that's adorable. I'm just going to put him out the way he is so DJ can be like, why did you not take the tags off? All right, maybe I'll take this tag off because it's got a ribbon on it, and I wouldn't want that to get pulled off by the kittens when I'm not looking. Okay, hang on. Very well decorated, though. Okay, perfect. So, uh, thank you for the little carrot. He can sit right out here. Uh, he'll just sit back here for the moment. Oh, here, he can lean up against this, and we'll see how long he stays there before the kittens start pulling him around. Hey, what is this? This isn't for you, and it's not for now. No, no, this is for later for somebody else, buddy. <laughs> and you are in... Can you see this? She's in the tube of... Uh, that's Holiday in the tube of noodle sticks. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, maybe it would be funny if I got something that would be like a little tiny tunnel for you guys. I think I have one. I've got like a foam roller that I would use uh, for um, like a sort of a, a workout thing. I haven't used it for working out in a long time. You do it to sort of massage, you know, um, uh, that we've had plenty of kittens run through before. I could bring that down here and they could use it as a little tunnel for a while. That could be very silly. Okay, uh, thank you for all the carrots uh, and the, the one carrot that we get to put out and the wonderful newspaper and the note and the... Oh, wait, there's more in here. I was saying thank you, but we're not done yet. There's one more bag and a sprout, but uh, also a bag. Okay, wow, almost forgot the moon pies, and that's the most important part. We can't do that. So, here we have... Uh, these are our cute boxes. Oh, wait, lavender-infused Scot short Scottish shortbread and Meyer lemon-infused. Oh, I can't smell them through the boxes, but I wish I could. Let's see, are they wrapped in there somehow? Yeah, they are. Hmm. Uh, well, if DJ doesn't try these, I will. They both sound delicious. My mouth is watering just thinking of it. And they've got the cutest little bunnies on them. Uh, the brand is Allen's Scottish Shortbread, apparently, infused with Harney and Sons teas. So they use tea to infuse the lavender and the Meyer lemon. That sounds so yummy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, now, oh, wow, you sent a lot of treats. Uh, we've got a carrot full of lint chocolates. I think I remember these from last year, don't I? Will it stand up that way? Oh, wow, it's balanced. That's perfect. Um, that looks like something out of No Man's Sky when it stands up like that, uh, which I've been playing too much of. We've got our Mardi Gras beads. Look at all that. Oh, and the little moon pies. All right. Hang on. Oh, that's a lot of beads. Do you kids want to play with them? All right. What do you think? Very sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly. What does it mean? What does it mean, kids? That's too fun. I don't know where I could put these that they could play with them. I mean, I could put them right here. You guys want to play with them now? 
Okay. Ooh, Reese's Pieces. That's yummy stuff. A uh, little Reese's Pieces carrot. Uh, then, okay, let's see. This cup of moon pies. The cup is the... Uh, uh, oh, I see. 1874. This is, must be the, the king's uh, court uh, cup style thing, maybe. I'm just guessing on that because I really don't know much about Mardi Gras. Uh, the moon pies. Wow. The original marshmallow sandwich. I remember them being bigger. Are they are these small ones or have they always been this small and I was just a smaller person at the time? I don't know. Uh, this is that's that's fun. That's a good size. I'm, I'm not saying they're too small. I'm just saying I remember them being bigger somehow. So this is Mardi Gras King Cake Coffee. Ooh, who knew? A festive blend of cinnamon and vanilla. Well, that is... Cinnamon and vanilla is a good combination. I can't smell that either. Is my nose broken? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, then uh, one more cup of... This is a Three Georges, I assume. Uh, blueberry. Wow, blueberry moon pie. Now, I can smell that blueberry coming right through that plastic, so that's a strong one. And that sounds really good. And then we have a bunch of additional. Uh, we got the little moon pies here and a chocolate moon pie. Ooh. All right. Well, those will all get eaten probably uh, in too rapid of succession, uh, considering that uh, I've been taking real good care of my diet. But I deserve a little something special, don't I? Especially if I'm sitting it out this weekend. Uh, we'll see. Thank you so much for everything. I, I really don't know how to thank you enough. It's wonderful. It's thoughtful. I think it is. You, you got, had this amazing like event happen uh, that you enjoyed greatly, and you thought of us while you were there. That I can't tell you how special that is, um, and, and how wonderful it is to be included in this way. So uh, thank you very very much for that. Now these I have to put away before they all become oh these kittens toys instead of who they belong to. Kids, you've got so many toys already. You're just playing with these because they're right next to me. That's ridiculous. All right, let me take this downstairs. Let me turn off the mic now, take these downstairs, get all this stuff put away, uh, and uh, thank you all very, very much. Okay, these kids are uh, are too much. I mean, they just they really keep me going all the time. <laughs> uh, where is my phone, speaking of? Now... Yeah. It'll turn up. It's not in my pocket. All right. Uh, I can't turn off the mic without it, but I can take off the mic and, and, I mean, I can shut it off. That's fine. I guess the admins can turn on the regular phone. I mean, regular mic. <laughs> my phone will appear. I know it's in this pile somewhere. Alright, I can't tell if I'm talking to myself until I find my phone. Uh, did, oh, did it stay in my jacket maybe when I took this off? I put it down simply film when I checked to see if the ceiling camera was on. Alright, we're going to have to go through everything to find out. Hang on. Don't get into this stuff. There it is. Okay. Good, okay. 
Looks like I'm not entirely talking to myself, but the microphone's all the way over there. I don't know how well it can hear me. That's okay. Does this have pockets? Oh, it's got pockets. That's great. Okay, perfect. Uh, I was going to say something else oh, about how um, I took a picture this morning of Teaspoon with his tiger suit and his gold chain on. And now I can have a matching gold chain, especially if I just take these two off. There you go. That'll pass at least costume style, right? Um, yeah, that'll be fun. I'm sure DJ will take a picture. Although we might not get the picture right away because I already did give him some uh, time out of his suit. Uh, but we can get it, we'll get it back on in due time when people start to visit or when uh, we, DJ and I aren't paying attention to him. He hasn't shown the slightest inclination to uh, work on his suture at all. Like He just pays no mind. So like I could almost trust him to just live without the suit on, uh, but I can't. You know, it's, it only takes a minute or two for him to bother that thing. So uh, we are keeping the suit on when we're not watching him, but when we are in there, uh, he really doesn't need to wear it very much. He does a great job. Hi, buddy. You want to cry all over you with those beads? Come on, come down. Come get them. They're right there. You can do it. Oh, okay. Now you got them. What are you going to do with them? I guess there's no reason to have this closed. We can open it up, right? I'm taking those beads back, kids, as soon as I'm done here. You don't get to play with those unsupervised. What's that, man? I thought we were buddies. You don't like me when I'm a tiger? Shouldn't eat those frosted flakes. Okay, uh, well, I think that's mailbag. Uh, let me put this stuff up first. Wait, I'll forget. I need those beads back, kids. I know you're having a good time with them. I know. I'm not going to leave them out, though. All right. Well, hey, thanks, everybody. Uh, thank you very, very much. Mailbag today was wonderful. Uh, I, I don't know if DJ has been paying attention. I guess she probably is, though. She's been doing a lot of, um, uh, like, gaming with the people that are on Discord. She started a gaming channel there and uh, not playing, like, you know, um, like, you know, PC games, but like there's Discord games or like, uh, you don't know, Jack style stuff. And she was actually into it already this morning. She didn't just have a really time with that. So hopefully she was so distracted by that she doesn't even know what's coming. 
Um, but it is, I, I gotta head up there and check on Teaspoon and check on her and make sure everything's good. Uh, Maya Bastet, uh, you really um, have uh, outdone yourself this time. The tiger suit is fantastic. Uh, I like it actually quite a bit. I'll probably find some uh, future excuses to wear. It's nice to be able to do a little something in solidarity for the, the little guy who was in surgery, you know? And if he's not wearing the cone, I'm not wearing the cone. Uh, but, uh, but this is perfect. It's a, it's a good match, it's a lot of fun. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, uh, and, and thanks to everybody who sent everything. Uh, <laughs> those moon pies are going to be great. I'm already thinking about them. A little too much, maybe. Uh, let me end my recording here. Not that it necessarily matters. These aren't being automatically uploaded like the daily micros are, but I'm sure it'll get up in due time. All right. Okay, I, I, I know the kids do seem a little bit suspicious of my outfit. Not not so much, but uh, Drizzle just wouldn't, wouldn't let me get close to her in the kitchen. She's like, no, I don't know you, buddy. Uh, I know, I wouldn't want to be next to me either. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, that guy's too weird for me. Okay.